Alright guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to emulate the Nintendo Switch on your PC using the Citroen emulator. The Citroen emulator is, uh, I guess you could call it a fork of Yuzu, it's the same interface and everything. But to download it, you're going to head here to Citroen slash, or dash emu, sorry, dot org. And after you read this notice about uh, piracy and using this the correct way, click I understand. Side note, emulation is legal. It is illegal to pirate the game, so after you dump your ROMs from either a ROM dumper or your Switch itself, we can show you how to get them running on this emulator. You'll also need your prod keys and your firmware. Quick Google search will lead you in the correct direction. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and hit the, the button here. It says download latest version. Once you're to this page, sorry for the flashbang. <laughs> uh, you're going to want to come down here to Citroen Windows Canary Refresh, download that. Okay, after you've got everything you need, go ahead and extract everything. Okay, and after I extract everything myself, so I keep everything clean and tidy, I delete the zip folders. Now what I'm going to do is go into the first Citroen Windows Canary Refresh folder, and in that folder in here, I'm going to rename, rather just delete a few things. I'm going to keep the name of the emulator and the version so I know if it's been updated when I download, uh, you know, download the exe file again. Myself, I'm going to put it in the documents folder. You can put it wherever you want. And then after come in the documents folder, I'm going to take that and put it in another folder because that's just what I do. <laughs> keep everything tidy. Okay, go on to your Citroen folder. I recommend maybe putting it to your desktop. It's gonna, we're gonna have to shut it and open it a couple times. Okay, now from here, I stay in the, the folder, the Citroen folder itself. I go ahead and I still have to keep everything ni nice and tidy, create a new folder. So I already have a ROM folder, so I'm just gonna drag and drop. Make sure it says move to Citroen. Okay, so now I got my ROMs. And while we're here, go ahead and go on your ROMs, and I usually also add a folder for DLC and one for updates just because it keeps everything tidy instead of trying to scroll through all your games. Once that is done, you can go ahead and close down that folder, load up Citroen. Now, file, open Citroen folder, find your file that says keys, open that up. Now go back to your wherever you downloaded the folders to and then extracted them to. You'll need to keep on opening the prodkeys.net folder until you get title.keys, prod.keys. Go ahead and select them both. Click and hold, drag them into your keys folder. Now, before we shut down, we're going to go ahead and double click to add a new folder. Head that and then just select your ROMs, select folder. There it goes. Okay, so now you see that it's up there. Go ahead and close down, reopen. Now for your firmware, go to Tools, Install Firmware, go back to where you have it extracted to, click the firmware, select Folder, let it install. Okay, you'll know that it's installed when it says your version number down at the bottom. Mine is 19.0.1. Now go ahead and close down again, reopen it, and there's my Tears of the Kingdom, that's the ROM I put in there. So now you wanna go into emulation, configure. For general system and CPU, I typically keep everything the same, except uh, general, you can go in here and change some things if you want. I graphics, keep that Vulkan and whatever your dedicated GPU is. And down here, the only thing I ever change is resolution. I'm gonna change that to uh, 4K. And then the window adapting filter, I change to nearest. Controls, make sure your controller is on. Make sure it's on Pro Controller for the first box. Second box, find your Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. You can use an Xbox 360 controller or a Xbox One, sorry, controller. They all look the same. But that will be listed in input device as well. So it'll be Pro Controller. And in this box, you'll find your Xbox One controller. After that, hit OK. And we're going to go ahead and make sure everything's running before we do anything else. Okay, it is loading up. Let's go ahead and stop the emulation. Okay, now that we're back at the, well, I guess the uh, Citroen main menu thing here. To add updates to your game, go ahead and hit the file. 
install files into NAND. Go into your ROMs folder, or wherever you have your updates. Mine is ROMs update, select your update that you want to do. You can do multiple at one time, as you can see here. You can even select all of them and just deselect any that you don't want to do. And hit install. All right, now that that's done, that was pretty quick. Uh, you'll see that the update is working. Now to add mods if you want, right click, open mod data location, wherever you have them downloaded to, just select them all, drag and drop, and they should be installed into the game. Okay, to double check to make sure they're all in there and locked and loaded, right click at properties, and as you can see, they are all on there. Sometimes they will show up under add-ons, I don't know why it's not now, but no big deal. Let's go ahead and go back in the game. All right, as you can see, everything is working as normal as it should. Also, you can play with some big screen and the uh, default button is F11. And that's it. That's how do you get the emulation running for the Nintendo Switch on your PC. If this video has helped you in any way, don't forget to hit that like button and comment down below so it could feed the algorithm monster so other people can get the help if they need it to. And we'll see you in the next one.